Governor DeSantis acknowledged the increased demand for testing around the state. He said we can expect a testing site to open at Tropicana Field and expanded testing at other area sites. He made that announcement after signing a new bill at Cristo Rey Tampa Celsian High School. That bill would allow thousands of students to enroll in the Family Empowerment Scholarship Program, which gives them the right to decide what educational system best fits their individual needs. But there are a lot of unanswered questions from Tallahassee. And because of the coronavirus outbreak, business is being done differently. We often have to email the governor's office for information concerning your safety and well-being. So when he comes to our area, we want to go and ask those questions in person. Today, that's what 10 Investigates Jenna Bourne did. And we first told you last month we've been trying to get a hold of the Florida Department of Education's pandemic plan. It's important information. It can answer questions like, were our schools ready for a pandemic? Did they stick to that plan? But today, when we saw the governor face to face, he immediately handed my question about this off to the Florida Department, the Florida Commissioner on Education. Governor, the Florida Department of Education is refusing to release its pandemic plan. We've been asking for three months. Don't you think the public has a right to know what was Richard, in the plan? You want, you want to take that? Uh, Governor, I'd like to hear what you have to say about that as well. <laughs> You've reached out to us several times. My office has communicated with you very clearly that the pandemic plan uh, it, in it is what we do strategize on how to keep our school children safe and it is not a public record and if you'd like we'll get you the statute we'll get you the general counsel you've been to talk citing to a office. fire safety plan sir no, a security no, and fire no, it's safety about school plan. safety and it's about protecting children that's not the statute that you've been citing to me of course we're not trying to release any information to the public that would endanger students which is why months ago we asked them to redact any information that was fire safety or security related information from that plan and just send us the rest all to keep you informed. Still no answers. But 10 Investigates is going to keep pushing on this and keep pushing to make this information made public for you.